Hello dear sisters, and here I am again at my home, and as I promised, here's our first day, or maybe it will take you a week, or maybe even several weeks to do what I'm going to talk about, present before you right now. And before we start our weekly, monthly journey of serving our husbands, which you are, of course, as a wife, you're already on that journey, but now I'm joining you and you are joining me, so we're doing this together. Uh, as, as I mentioned before, I wanted to do some preparation work. And we just cannot skip this. It is extremely, extremely important to prepare our hearts, to search our hearts, to see if there is any wicked way in us. And as Psalm 66, 18 states, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. He will not hear our prayers. And maybe, my dear sister, you noticed in your life that something has been hindering your prayers. You're praying and praying for your marriage. You're praying and praying for your husband. You're praying and praying even for yourself and things are not changing. What's happening? You know, but maybe you are regarding iniquity in your heart, hiding something, maybe some kind of bitterness that you've been hiding in your heart for years, that um, maybe your husband said something or did something, and maybe subconsciously you just piled it somewhere in deep, deep resources of your heart and never truly, truly dealt with it or gave it to the Lord. So this week, it might take you more than a week, I would challenge you and myself, obviously, what I ch the challenges that I present before, before you, I do it myself or have done or will be doing alongside you. So everything that I ask you to do, I'm doing. Um, I will never ask you to do something that I will not be doing. So this week we are going to do some, I would call, I would say even excruciatingly deep, deep heart searching. And we will ask the Holy Spirit daily. This is a day after day after day work of the Holy Spirit that we need to allow in our hearts for him to, to do. So we are going to ask the Lord to search our hearts and see if there's any bitterness, if there is any grievances, if there's any unforgiveness or pride or arrogance in our heart that was caused by our husbands and we haven't gave it up to the Lord, we haven't surrendered before the Lord. And um, I'll bring you a little interesting example. Uh, several months ago, I was praying for the Lord to search my heart and see if there's any wicked way in it, and just typical, you know, prayer that I was presenting before the Lord. And quite all of a sudden, a thing popped up in my mind, a grievance that I had against my husband about a situation that happened years and years and years ago to be more specific, actually 11 years ago. And I was absolutely shocked. I could not believe myself that actually I never gave it up and pre never released that grievance, um, that, un there was, that there was still unforgiveness in my heart, something that I, 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 I never really dwelt upon it, but quite all of a sudden it just started flooding my heart and the Lord started revealing it to me that I still had bitterness and unforgiveness. And of course, obviously, I came before the Lord and acknowledged my sin before the Lord, as Psalm 35, 32, 5 says, I acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity I have not hidden. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. So the Lord forgave my iniquity, I released it, now I live in freedom. But sometimes I wonder how many prayers were actually hidden. My prayers for my husband, my prayers for our marriage, my prayers for myself or any kind of prayers were hindered because of that iniquity that I hid in my heart and didn't even realize it was there. So my dear sisters, please, please do not sweep it under the rug. This is a crucial, crucial area in your life that you have to deal with. Stop quieten your heart, examine your heart, and truly be sincere before the Lord and cry out to the Lord to heal you of those wounds and scars. You might say, 
how can I forgive my husband for him watching pornography uh, behind the closed doors that, um, or how can I forgive my husband for hitting me? Or how can I forgive my husband for doing this or doing that? He's not romantic. He never reads the Bible with me. He doesn't disciple me. He never disciples the children. He just works and works and works. And he's a couch potato. And, and the list just goes on, goes on. And, and, you know, we know that our speech is actually, and our thoughts, obviously, are the indicators of what truly is in our heart. So please, Lord, please, my dear sisters, if you notice those bitter remarks or something that you, you feel that you emotionally divorced from your husband, there is such a thing as an emotional divorce. You're still under the same roof. You still do the same routine things that you always do, but you emotionally divorced, withdrew yourself from your husband because you just haven't dealt with those Day by day, that is the key. Day by day, those little grievances. He made a sharp remark, or he threw his socks on the ground again, or piled his laundry on the ground, or whatever, whatever, those little things. And you piled, and you piled, and you piled, and you haven't forgave on daily basis, and then, well, sudden, it, it just, it becomes this giant monster. One of the saddest part about a situation like that, or hard, that is bitter and hard, and there's unforgiveness in it, that not only your relationship with your husband is hindered, um, every, your relationship with the Lord is hindered. The Lord cannot break through. He cannot answer your prayers. He cannot change your heart. He cannot change, start that changing work in you, changing work in your family, changing work in your husband, because of that monster of unforgiveness that is before you. You need to acknowledge your sin to the Lord and ask him, as we read in Psalm 139, search me, O God, God, and know my heart. Allow the Lord to truly know. Just thrust yourself before him. Just tell, Lord, please, please heal my scars, heal my wounds. I'm not going to um, hide iniquity in my heart. I want this freedom. I want a breakthrough. A lot of us, you know, I know many uh, sisters come to me in, uh, in, um, in our body and sometimes they're desperate, there's tears in their eyes about the situations in their marriage and things like that. And um, there's only one solution to run, run to Christ. One more important thing I wanted to mention, that this life, will be filled with pain. We are not in heaven. This life will be filled with grievances. Sometimes we will hurt our husbands unwillingly. Sometimes our husbands will hurt us. This is not heaven. Things will happen, but there is a solution. Christ provided a solution to go before him and just confess the things that are in our hearts, our iniquity, because uh, one, uh, uh, that thing that I mentioned, by the way, that I kept in my heart and the deep, deep recesses in my heart against my husband, as I was started pondering about it, uh, I was thinking, the, the thoughts about rationalizing my bitterness started flooding my heart. Like, but, you know, but he was not right. What he did was not right. And then slowly the Holy Spirit started flooding my heart and soul, and he showed me that my bitterness was because I did not get my way. And how horrific that is. My bitterness was actually because of my own selfishness. I did not get my way, and that's why I was bitter. And maybe, my dear sisters, the Lord will show the same to you, that you're holding that bitterness against your husband because he didn't bring the flowers, or he doesn't do this, or he doesn't do that, because you are not getting your way. You're trying to change him. You're trying to satisfy something within you through your husband that he was never meant to satisfy. He's just a man. He's just a human man. <laughs> you know, he's not the Lord. That's why our only re re the only thing we can run to is for the Lord to satisfy those things that sometimes our husbands cannot satisfy whether it's a desire for companionship or understanding or whatever that desire within your heart is, only Christ knows it deeply, exactly what you need. 
your husband might know it, and the most incredible husband in the world, he's still just a man. Do not idolize 